think you're not allowed to take any pictures here inside? Oh, no, of course I am. Yeah. Why would you say that? That's silly. It's, it's, it's not allowed. This is the government. Yeah, government, government building, meaning the people's building. That means it belongs to me. Can you please step out there? Oh, no, you. I'm okay right here. This is a. Sir, can you please? I'm sorry. I'm going to have to respectfully decline. Yeah. It's a confidential office with clients in here. Well, let me just get you your name tag right there. You, you can't do that. Oh, of course I can. I'm sorry? Of course I can. I'm sorry, sir. You can't. You can, I have to get a supervisor. With, I, I just talked to the security. They know what I'm doing. Well, but security doesn't know what we yeah. do here. But just so you know, there's no expectation of privacy in public. Okay. I'm in public. I'm in a public building that I pay for. So, of course I can be here. But you see us. We're confidential. You're not confidential. Yes, well, I am too. No, you're not. You're Damn in public, ma'am. You're a city worker. I'm a confidential employee. Do you know? Please don't. It's against the law. It's against the law? Yes, it is. To, get, to photograph or... Could you tell me? I'm just curious. No, I, I want to hear you out. Sir. Sir, de-escalate. I want to hear you up, but what law is it against? You're going to have to be a little sneakier, brother. I got to shadow you, man. Otherwise, uh... This well, just say you're shadowing me, then. Let's go. Come on. All right. I don't work for the county. I work for a different agency. What you're doing, it's against... Paid by our taxes. You don't have the consent to be recording me, and I need you to step out of this office, please. No, ma'am, you can't take pictures in here. It's against their policy. Oh, and I'm taking a picture of you. Yeah, but you're still inside property. Okay, they... I work here. Also, if you work here, you're allowed to break policy, but not if you don't work here. I don't know who you are. You don't have to know who I am. I don't know who you are, but I'll find out. Are you the director here, sir? Or is that Lori? Lori Medina is the director. Of okay, are you, are you her assistant by any chance? I'm, I am the assistant director. Monterey County Department of Social Services. Let's see how they react to me going in, though. So this is right here, stop, so I am here, perfect. Big building, never been here. Let's check this one out here. Not much to see in this little lobby. See, they got the computer right over there. Hopefully nothing too confidential on there. Sir, I think you're not allowed to take any pictures here inside. Oh, no, of course I am. Yeah. Why would you say that? That's silly. It's, it's, it's not allowed. Let, it's me not ask, mine, let me ask you this. So, um, there's a camera right up there watching me. Yeah, I know. So does that mean they're breaking policy? Mm. Well, the guard should be here and talk to you. The who? The, the guard. Guard? The security, yeah. Oh, I thought you're security. Well, I'm security for the... Well, okay. No, of course I, I'll, yeah. I'm just working on a story here. That's my uh, First well, Amendment right. Well, they weren't allowed taking videos. You know, oh, of course they are. They might not like it, but we're allowed. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no offense. You know, you've been very nice. I appreciate you. All right. Appreciate you. But yeah, we're allowed to take pictures. Well, okay. Can't trespass the eyes, my brother. Okay. Hello. Hi. Was she the one you're talking about or someone yeah. else? Just so I know who to look for. I don't know. I didn't call for any help from you, but he said that someone was coming to talk to me. So you're recording children? Recording what? The children? No. No, no, just inside. But even if I was recording children, which is not my intention, but if there's children in the background, there's no expectation of privacy in public. But that's not my intention. This is a government Yeah, government building. building, meaning the people's building. That means it belongs to me. So, but let me get your name badge there real quick. Perfect, just so I can see who I'm talking to. Summer. Summer, okay, perfect. Yeah, this is an old camera, this one right here, it's hard to see. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. All right. yeah, I'm not here though to get any, uh, how do you say, confidential information or kids or. Yeah, can you please step out there? Oh no, I'm okay right here. This is a. Sir, can you? I'm sorry. I'm going to have to respectfully decline. You can go inside there and talk to her, though. I'm just in the public lobby, ma'am. Kind of funny. I thought I couldn't record her. That security guard was very cordial, though, guys. Oh, got another one coming in. 
Let's go walk around, guys, and continue our journey. I don't know where they got the idea when I barely, literally just walked in, and the first thing uh, she said to me was, are you recording children? I'm like, I'm not going to lie, but I don't see any children even in here. So I don't know how somehow they miscommunicated that uh, information. I am recording, and like I said, if there's children in here, that's not my intention, but I mean, there's no expectation of privacy in public. I can't control if, some, you know, if someone's kid in the background runs by me. But no, I'm not here to record children. That'd be silly. Let's see what department this is. 209, 209. This is the Benefits Insurance and Recovery Unit. Not much to see right here. Just a small little office. Hello. Hello. I thought you, I, that mirror's weird. I thought you were in there and I'm like, like you guys are twins. Oh. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Department of Social Services Administration. Let's see if this is locked or open. It looks open. Nope, it's locked. Got her right over there. All right, so we got right here some stuff. Not much to really see in there, guys. I guess you're going to move on. Are you videotaping our office? Yeah. It's a confidential office with clients in here. Well, let me just get you your name tag right there. You, you can't do that. Oh, of course I can. I'm sorry? Of course I can. It's I, okay. I'm, just so you know, I'm not here to get any confidential information. No, no, but you see faces here. Well, I'm allowed to see faces. You can't trespass the eyes. I'm it's sorry, sir. You can't. You can't I have to get a supervisor. With, I, I just talked to the security. They know what I'm doing. Well, but security doesn't know what we yeah. do here. But just so you know, there's no expectation of privacy in public. Okay. I'm in public. I'm in a public building that I pay for. So, of course, I can be here. Like I said, I'm not here to get confidential information, but the onus falls on you. If there's confidential information that I can see from public, you need to cover it, not me. I just want to make that clear. Who are you? I'm an independent journalist working on a story. Other than that, I can't disclose any information. But I come in peace, I can tell you that. I'm not here to cause trouble. That's why I left real quick. I saw yeah, yeah, I, I, mean, I, got I, the, I got the shots that I need when I went in there. That's why I left. But, but now that you approach me. But you see us. We're confidential. You're not confidential. Yes, well, I am too. All right, guys. Let me pause it just for a moment. I really want to reiterate something. I'm not here to cause trouble or give anyone a difficult time. If you notice, when I went in the other office where the lady was getting service, I left because I wanted her to get her service comfortably and in peace. This office right here where this lady was working, I went in for about maybe 10 seconds. She didn't bother me, so I left. However, she chose of her own free will to come out and engage in conversation with me. So probably not the brightest idea to go out of your way and approach a cameraman while he's recording if you don't want to be recorded. On top of that, there's definitely no expectation of privacy in public. She's also a public worker, meaning everything about her is public from her salary, when she got hired, any disciplinary actions, everything. It's all public. If she really values her privacy, which I don't doubt, she probably shouldn't be working for the people. She should probably go get a job in the private sector. That being said, let's continue. We're confidential. You're not confidential. Yes, well, I am too. No, you're not. You're Damn in public, ma'am. You're a city worker. I'm a confidential employee. Do you know that I can pull up your salary? How long you've been here? If you have any write-ups? I'm not going to do that, I but I could. I be friendly. Let's, yeah. let's calm down a little bit and make it Sure, friendly. let's de-escalate. Okay, you're here to do a story. Exactly. Great. What, where is it going to end up? I can't disclose that right now. It's confidential, right? It's confidential. <laughs> well... I can't That's show my cards. I, I, I'm still working on the story, so I can't disclose where it's going to be because, um, like I said, it would kind of jeopardize. You get a supervisor. You're, yeah, you're, you're, right, you're welcome to do what you got to do, ma'am. Whatever you feel is yeah. adequate. <laughs> would you like me to wait for you, or you, if not, I'll just be walking around and you can have her have your supervisor come look for me. You, you can't be walking and taking pictures. Without That's exactly what I'm show. doing. Of course I can. I'm in public. That's the most silliest thing I've ever heard. gonna get a supervisor because I'm walking around in public taking pictures in public that's silly well ma'am I'm in public ma'am so for example let's well no hear me out though hear me out I did tell you ma'am I told you the most important things I come in peace and I'm working on a story 
other than that, I mean, it's really not to be fair. It's not your business what I'm working I know, on. You can't, you can't be photoing people without their permission. Of course I can. What happens when you go through an intersection and someone's dash cam gets you or you go to a gas station or a supermarket? Oh, this, is, uh, this is, don't, please don't. It's against the law. It's against the law? Yes, it is. To, to photograph or... Can you tell me? I'm just curious. No, I, I want to hear you out. Sir, sir, de-escalate. I want to hear you out, but what law is it against? Because if you don't have a parent, uh, if you don't have a person's authorization to photograph or record them, it's against the law. It's like any telemarketer when they say this is going to be recorded, you tell them no, and they hang up right on. on so the, the way those copy those those. Yeah, that's on that's on the phone. So the way wiretap laws work, sir. All right, guys, let me pause it just for a moment. What this gentleman's referring to is California's wiretap laws, as California is what you call a two-party consent state. Meaning, let's say you get a phone call for some type of telemarketing. If they want to record the conversation for quality control, they have to inform you that they're going to record. Or let's say you're conducting an interview with someone and you want to record or document the encounter, you have to inform them that you're going to record. However, there's no expectation of privacy in public, so in plain view, anything you can see, you can record with the exception of a place that you might have an expectation of privacy, like maybe a bathroom or a locker. And sometimes, even inside of a courthouse, there will be a court order that you're not allowed to record, even in the common-slash-public area, which is technically unconstitutional. That's a whole nother story, though. Let's continue. I'm not instigating anything. I'm peacefully recording. You guys approached me. I didn't approach you, so... Tell them the truth. Tell them the truth, ma'am. Now you're trying to create problems that don't exist. This guy too right here, he did not like it. I guess he forgets he works for me. Here's an idea. If you don't want to be in public, don't work in a public building. No, I wanted to see Sir. the sign you're talking to up close. Yes, thank you. So, let's yes, see. now that you have confirmed, no videos or reporting. So, you. where's the statue or, or thank code? Thank you. So, if I had thank a you. Well, no, no, hear me out. If you thank want to you. have it, if you want to say something, you have to listen too. No, I don't. What if I had a sign saying no thank purple T-shirts for black people or thank you. white people? Sir. Ma'am, I'm allowed to be in the public lobby. What part of that don't you get? It's not a law. That's a that's a request. That's not a law. You may want to call your supervisor because if you guys violate my civil rights, it's a $25,000 fine, just so you know. $25,000 out of your pocket. You lose qualified immunity. Just to keep that in mind. Appreciate you. And you can see I'm being followed. This gentleman's been following me right here. Well, actually, he's going to come and follow me, guys. See, there he is right there. And I can't stop him from walking around and following me. You're going to have to be a little sneakier, brother. I got to shadow you, man. Otherwise, uh, Well, just say you're shadowing me, then. Let's go. Come on. All right. I can't stop you from walking. It's a free country. I do expect, though, um, since, you know, you are uh, protecting the building, which we pay for um, out of our taxes, even though you're a private company, that if someone tries to assault me or, or uh, violate my rights, that you'd protect me as well, just like you would anyone else. True. Very true. Yeah. All right, brother. Appreciate it. Let's go. All right, guys. So we got our own uh, personal bodyguard here. Silly, huh? Hard to believe somebody would exercise their rights, freedom of press. But I do appreciate you having the personal escort. Did you put your name? 
I'm not going to answer questions because she's not checking everybody. Only about 50% of the people I see walk by. I have it on camera. Even people without badges. Even people without badges. Yeah, there's no laws being broken. That's just a request. Not a, it's not mandated. That's just silly. Are you the director here, sir? Or is that Lori? Lori Medina is the director. Okay, are you, are you her assistant by any chance? So I'm just curious, since you're the assistant director, I haven't seen Lori walking around. Um, what's the issue with me walking around and recording? I mean, no, I'm willing to have a cordial conversation. I'll be on my way once I figure this out. I don't want to linger and be around her all day. When, if the police do come, like they said they were calling, just, just so you know, that's a violation of my civil rights and you guys can lose qualified immunity under civil code 52.1, the California Tom Bain Act. This is my civil right. I'm working on a story. Giving that knowledge that I'm working on a story. What's the issue? I'm just curious, in your opinion. Would you like to step outside? No, I, I'm happy right here. It's too hot out there. I'll step outside. Have a conversation. You know, I do pay your salary, not to be rude or anything or be condescending. Okay. But I do, I'm just curious why. So I'm understanding that you're not wanting to have the conversation. I do inside. I'm, I'm burning up, I told you. So this gentleman does not want to have a conversation with me, which I'm going to have to make a complaint to Lori. I'll come. I'll go to the side if you'd like, though. Um, if you, if you like to enter your name and, um, you know, how do you know I didn't already enter my name? I don't know. I'm just well, there you go. I said if you would like to. Yeah. Well, I'm going to respectfully decline that request. Okay. Putting my name there. I mean, I can put any name I want. You're not checking ID, so how would you know? If, you, if it makes you feel comfortable, I can put John Doe on there, or guy with a camera. And if you would like to make an appointment to. Oh, I will be definitely. But I, we can certainly do that by making an appointment. So you're unwilling. So you're going to just stand here. Are you off the clock right now? But I do have some other business. So when I pull up your payroll, are you off the clock? To attend to right now. Well, let's so attend to that then. Because you're just. So he doesn't want to answer my question. I don't think Lori's going to be happy with the way I am being treated. No, ma'am, you can't take pictures in here. It's against her policy. Why not taking a picture of you? Yeah, but you're still inside property. Okay, I work here. Also, if you work here, you're allowed to break policy, but not if you don't work here. I don't know who you are. You don't have to know who I am. I don't know who you are, but I'll find out. You Your name. To record me and you do not have consent. Then how come so you're recording me? me? How come you're recording me? You don't have my consent. The funny thing is, I wasn't even recording Karen. I was having a conversation with the assistant director, and in my peripheral, I saw her kind of stop in the doorway, and she was recording me which I'm sure goes against their policy to randomly record people in the building when they're working. Either way, that's a whole nother issue. Bottom line, it's funny how in her mind, it's okay for her to stop and record me, yet it's the end of the world if I stop and record her. Hmm, something fishy going on in this place, guys. Let's continue. This is the office they say you can't record in. There's no kids in here right now. And it's open. So you can see that's just a policy, guys. That's not the law. Hold on. I'm just getting your badge. Hold on. I'm just getting your name tag. I can go ahead and press charges for that, and I will. I'll wait for you then. I'll wait for you, ma'am. I will. Because there's no expectation of privacy in public. You work for me. This is a public lobby. I'm allowed to be in here. It's against the law for you to record me without my consent. Ma'am? For the county, I work for a different agency. What you're doing, it's again paid by our taxes. You don't have the consent to be recording me, and I need you to step out of this office, please. And I'll leave, I'll leave so she can, she can get her service. There you go. All right, well, see, she's taking a picture of me. I'm gonna have to FOIA request that. She's breaking their own policy. I just stepped out for a moment, guys. Um, I don't want to prevent anyone from getting service, that's not my intention. However, when they say I can't take pictures in a public lobby, that's just kind of silly. So they went back inside. So they said officers are on the way. Let's go wait for them, guys. Oh, there we go. There's already some out there. Good, how are you doing today? Good, 
Oh, they locked you out, brother. Yeah. It happens. <laughs> Got 403, Salinas PD, and 321, Salinas PD. They right, left their screens wide open. Perfect. I'm going to get this with this old phone here. Sorry, guys. Let me pause it again just for a moment. So this call by Maria Vargas of the Social Service Department here in Salinas, California, basically called it in as a disturbance, a 415, disturbing the peace. I'm peacefully walking around taking pictures. They're the ones disturbing my peace. The other thing, if you read this, that's kind of blurry, but if you read this, it says that I was in the bushes recording people. When in the hell was I in the bushes? I've been walking around the inside of this public building the whole time. So either they got the information wrong or she's filing a false police report. Either way, I'm going to put in a public records request for the body cam footage so I can hear what was said behind those closed doors. This video is already pretty long, so I'll do a separate video for that in the near future. Let's continue. All right, here they come right here. Go, uh, can I get an incident number with your guys' business cards? I'd really appreciate it. I have an incident number, but it's Officer Musket, badge 90. And you? And Officer Corp, badge 157. So there's no uh, incident number when you guys get a call here? It's on it. There's a CAD detail, but you can call uh, Yeah. Well, I already took pictures of the screen, so that's what's on your screen right there? Yeah, it's a CAD number. Okay, that's can you guys write it down on an incident yeah, card? No and just so I don't forget, if you guys could write your uh, name and badge on the incident card, I'd appreciate your help. And were you guys' body cams on? Yes, we are. Perfect. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you, my man. Good to see you again, Anthony. Yeah, you too. I just remember you from our last contact with Monterey County Office of Education. You know, the funny thing is that you say that, you may want to hang out because that's actually my next stop. I'm going back over there. I appreciate that, Anthony, but yeah. I, I think I'll, I'll take just a, right there on the bottom with my badge number and then the incident number is right on top. Perfect. I appreciate right. you guys being professional. Right. And I, yeah. I just got a quick question before you guys take off. Yeah. So just because I don't want to get in trouble here. So you guys did let them inform them that I'm allowed to be in there? This yeah. is a public building. This is a government building. Perfect. Appreciate you. Take care. All right, take care, guys. Drive safe. Well, guys, there you have it. Education complete. Now let's just go back inside, do a quick victory lap, or at least walk around the front lobby just to make sure they completely 100% understand we the people will not be run off public property for simply exercising our rights. And guys, if you'd like to voice your concerns with Lori, the director here at the Social Service Department, I do ask that you do so cordially and, of course, of your own free will. That being said, let's go do a quick victory lap just to make sure they really understand that we the people will not be run off public property. So now she knows for next time that if someone comes in with a camera, they're perfectly allowed to do what they're doing. Um, they can definitely request someone to put their name there, but it's not the law. It's not an ordinance. It's just a request. Um, but, you know, technically, if they were to enforce seeing someone's, like, actual ID, that'd be a Fourth Amendment violation. I hope they're not trained to do that. But it is what it is. But the mo important thing, guys, they got educated. Let's see if they lock the door. I hope there's people in there. Hello. Appreciate you. So hopefully she got educated now. She spoke to the police. She got educated. Good job. So before I take off, I just want to say thank you for all your time today. And I'm just wondering if you'd be interested in offering an apology for trying to violate my rights or if you're willing to admit that, hey, we're allowed to record. And guys, I can't force her to speak to me, obviously. Looks like she's playing Tetris. Right, let's get out of here. Well, guys, there you have it. Monterey County Department of Social Services, Salinas, California. What are your thoughts? Pass or fail? You be the judge. I want to hear from you in the comment section. 
Make sure to pound that like button. Make sure to follow or subscribe. Show your support by sharing this video. When you do all of this, it really helps me out. And definitely go follow me on my new Instagram, AX1 Audits. Hell yeah, baby. Last but not least, no bootlicking. Unless that's your thing, then clean those fucking boots. Who am I to judge? Out of here, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.